much of our health care expenditure, much of our government health care expenditure is paid for retirees for, through Medicare, Medicare and Medicaid for lower income retirees. It's a very large chunk of our, our health care. Now, since these people are not working for the most part, um, they don't act, absolutely have to stay in the United States. And many people, of course, do have ties. They have family ties, friends, business, and maybe they just like another country. That, you know, they may be interested in going to Germany or Canada. Well, suppose we were to give people a voucher. We take, you know, we take what we pay now for Medicare. We take the average cost in other countries, and we split the difference. And we give people a voucher, and we say you can use that money if you want, buy into the healthcare system of whatever country you want. And we negotiate deals, you know, with England, with France, which, with whatever country. We even give them a premium. We we calculate what it costs them to, you know, treat someone age 65, age 70, whatever it might be. And we even give them a premium of 10% on top of that, or 15%, so they would profit from it as well. And we give people the option then. The enormous savings for the U.S. government is, you know, the savings end up being on the order of once you do these projections that you're know, supposed to be so scary with the budget. Those are all driven by health care. So once you get out, you know, 20, 30 years, you'd be talking about savings in many cases on the order of 20000 per person per year. So you split that. There's a lot of people. You go, here's ten thousand. You'll get every year. I mean, you consider most elderly people, most retirees, the median income for 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 a couple over over sixty five is around twenty five thousand. So if you know that couple moves to France, they get twenty thousand to put in their pocket every year. You might get a lot of people that would take that. Um, so in any case, you go, okay, we, we've got you know we've got this deficit cutting crew that are out there talking about cutting people's social security, cutting their Medicare, doing all these things. You can argue whether you want to do that or not, but what's wrong with giving people an option, giving people a choice to go and buy into another country's health care system? They don't like it. They don't have to do it. They have the Medicare system as is here. If they want to do it, they save money. They get a lot of money to put in their pocket, and we save money.